Hi, in this episode of the beginner's guide I'll start discussing the color tools and the first one here, color balance. And uh, I know that I haven't finished yet with the export as different file types, but I see that not a lot of people are interested in those tutorials. So I'm gonna take turns between these color tools and those tutorials to make it a little bit more interesting. These tools are very important uh, exporting as different file types is also important so I'm going to cover that I'm not going to miss anything I want to cover everything but for now let's focus here on the color balance now with this tool you can adjust the amount of red green and blue in an image and therefore color correct the image now an image is color correct when the amount of red blue and green in a pixel is uh, the same number let me grab the color picker here and holding down the shift key, click. And you see here we have information about this pixel. The red is 255, which is the maximum. The minimum is zero. And uh, the same goes for the green and blue. And here the blue also is very high. And you see that the green is, uh, the difference between the red, blue, and the green is very big. So here, we have too much red, too much blue, and not enough green. And you can see this even without uh, testing that the green here looks kind of cold and uh, the red is very vivid, the flowers here, but the green looks kind of cold. And we can use the color balance here to correct that. And before I start discussing all the options, I wanna show you how quickly we can do that. I'll just grab this slider on the midtones this one too around here then go to the shadows and I'm going to zoom out a little bit go back to the midtones here and uh, if I also want to turn the preserve luminosity setting here off and I'm going to turn the preview setting here off so we can see the original image so this is the original and this is after uh, adjusting the color balance so you see how we managed to kind of make this green color more vivid let's see again and the image looks i think a lot better a lot more colorful so this is what this tool is for to adjust the balance between red, green, and blue. And of course, not always we want to have a color correct image. Sometimes we want to have an image with more red or more green or more blue, depending on uh, what the purpose is. But like I said, this is what this tool is for. It is not for changing color of things. For example, you may want to try here to change the color of these flowers to something else and you'll get a terrible result. So don't use this tool for changing the color of uh, anything in your image, just to color correct and adjust the color balance. Now let's start discussing the options here. The first one, presets, will allow you to select from previously saved presets, which we can do with this button here, add settings to favorites. So right now I can click here and call this more green. And I'll enter one here because I think I have one more of these. Click here. And uh, you see now we have more green and another more green here. And uh, if you want to delete any of these, you can do that from here, manage settings. And I can select this and delete it. The other options here will allow you to import settings from a file or to export the selected settings to a file. You can also do that from here. Now the next option is select range to adjust. You can select to adjust the shadows, the midtones, or the highlights. The shadows are the darkest parts of the image. Let's say these parts here. The highlights are the brightest parts. These here. And the midtones are the rest of the image. Now the next option here allow you to adjust the color levels. 
and uh, you can do that using the sliders or you can click here or you can enter a number positive number for towards red green and blue and negative towards cyan magenta and yellow depending on which one you want to adjust if you go uh, from red to cyan you have more blue in the image and if you go towards red of course you have more red in the image magenta again green to magenta you have more blue in the image more green more yellow more blue next option here will allow you to reset the range only for the mid tones the shadows or the highlights so i can reset here the mid tones but i'll keep the settings for the shadows if you want to reset the settings for the entire tool you can click here now the next option preserve luminosity let me first select this more green and here we turn this off if we turn it on you see how the image becomes more bright I think that most of the time this option should be off because the image really doesn't look well with this on but of course it's entirely up to you and the next option is preview which allows you to preview uh, what you've done here or not I use this very often to see the image without the adjustments which is this the original image and preview what I've done here so that's it for this tutorial and if it helped like the video subscribe share it bye for now